I'm Dawn and I would like to welcome you to my channel. Today is my patio refresh day and I'm so excited. I absolutely love spring and summer and I've been waiting a while for spring to come here. So it's about time to get our patio refreshed so we can go out there and enjoy the space. We had a little bit of nice weather and then it got cold again and now we're firmly in the temperatures where I feel comfortable planting some beautiful flowers. I got a quote from our landscaper and when I heard the price, I said, it's okay, I have some gloves. I know how to do this, I do it every year. And I love actually going to the local nursery, picking the flowers out. I really go off of what they have that's fresh and in season and really would make the most colorful impact. I tend to stick with blues, purples, reds, um, pinks. This year, I'm kind of doing a purple pink theme. It's beautiful, I think it's pretty with our white home. I can actually see the patio out the big bay window in the kitchen, so I'll enjoy this view a lot. You know, it's interesting because I absolutely love outdoor space, but when you have flowers and pillows and things that soften the space, you really want to go out more often. It's very inviting. So the dogs are super excited. They know it's an outside day. They just know it. One's outside already. Ferris is right here waiting to go. Come on out. Let's go outside and I'll show what I'm up to. Go outside. Outside, come on. So I wanna show you a really neat gardening hack. We have been saving up some San Pellegrino plastic bottles. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the bottom of our planters. And it's useful in a few ways. One is it fills up some of the volume so you don't have to buy as much of the planting soil. But also if you need to move things around, it's not so much weight. They aren't so heavy filled with as much dirt. The other thing is it really helps with drainage. So if these are at the bottom, more water can drain through and it really is healthy for the roots and the plant. All right, so you don't need a lot to get started. It's pretty basic. I have with me the potting soil. I have gloves and a little shovel, of course. I have the San Pellegrino bottles I'm gonna use for a little bit of volume at the bottom of some of my bigger boxes. And then I have the liners behind me. I'm gonna pop those into larger boxes to help keep them clean. And then I have, of course, the flowers I'm gonna use. And then I also have a couple watering tins. I have a larger one for bigger boxes and I have a small one when I wanna go in and really water little spaces. It's really important after you put flowers in their new home that you do give them water right away. And then after about five days to a week, you can start using a little bit of miracle Grow. And it helps them grow quicker, fuller, faster, more beautifully. I really love a little bit of miracle Grow, And I have water for me because when you're outside, you don't want to dehydrate. You can be outside for a long time and not realize it. So make sure and sunscreen, sunglasses, and water. All right, let's get going. So I am going to work on the big boxes first. I guess I'm excited to see some uh, fast reward for my work and the big pots really look pretty cool. And also when you do big boxes, which I did a lot in our last house, it's really fun to take a picture of the day you plant them and then kind of the progression because you really forget as time goes how small they started and you're just so excited that they're planted and they look good. But later when you see the trailing green and they just are very voluptuous and beautiful, it's kind of fun to see. So I'm gonna start with this pot first. I'm gonna throw in some of the plastic bottles. Okay, so what I have, is this container. So I measured the box in the interior space that I had to work with, and there are some bars inside. So it's really important to make sure you know when you go to the gardening store what size you have to work with. Mine is about 19 inches. This is I think 18 and a half, 18, somewhere around there. So it fits really, really great. And I am setting this, balancing it on this guy. So this was just a pot that some of the flowers came in and I'm repurposing it for some height just to get this a little taller. I had a really hard time I don't even know if they make them, finding it this size and tall. And I really didn't need that much height. It would just require extra dirt and bottles. So again, this on the bottom, we're gonna keep this wood box pretty healthy. We don't want it to mildew. And then I'm popping this on top of that, like such. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the bottles and I'm gonna start layering these in. just popped in some Pellegrino bottles. I wanted to get one flat layer. And if this was deeper, I could stack them a little bit higher, but that's kind of all I needed for this project. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. I did 
didn't think to bring shears with me, but it pops right open with a shovel and I'm going to start putting in some dirt. So I definitely want to make sure that all of the bottles are covered with dirt. All right, so now I have a nice base layer. It's a good even amount and it's flat enough. I might put a dot more in. And I just want to make sure that all of those are covered. Looks great. And now I'm going to pop in the plant. So I'm going to be ever so careful with this guy. He's a little bit fragile. I'm going to try to keep it together. If I have to, I can take piece by piece, but I really would like to try to keep as much together as I can. All right. Okay, so here you have to be really careful with the plants. Sometimes they will all lift out together if they've kind of grown together. So this came out really easily. I'm going to put this in the middle. Sometimes you can lift them all out together and quickly transplant it. Not these. They are definitely individual plants set into one container, which is fine. I can really arrange it the way I want. I certainly don't want to rip the precious roots. So I'm just being very careful. And I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of a jiggle, trying to figure out where the edges are. This one's a little bit more firmly in there. There we go. And I'm just going to gently lift the whole chunk, all the roots you want to come with. Okay, so this is what I will have to work with. And you can buy individual plants. Last year I did, I just bought all individual plants, but this was such a great assortment already to gather. And then the last one, these beautiful purple flowers. Seems like I'm not the only one out in the garden today. I can hear blowers galore. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. This is some really great dirt as well, and it's already been living in this dirt, so I'm just gonna pop it in here for some extra dirt. And I'm just gonna combine a little bit of the new dirt with the dirt it's been living in. So this is my centerpiece. And this is for the height in the middle of the box. I think I'm going to put this purple that is so pretty right here, kind of in this corner. And then I'm going to put some of this hot pink height towards the back. That actually needs a little bit more height below it. So I'm going to just pick it up and throw in a little bit more dirt. I don't really know what this is going to turn out like. I think I'm going to put this in the back corner. And then this pretty pop of frosty white. Almost a eucalyptus look. I think I'm going to pop this right here. Again, I need more dirt to raise that height up a little bit. So you really have to play with each one. Treat them ever so special. They're all individuals. And I want a little bit of the pink front. I purchased six of these. I figured three per planter would be good. I'm not going to do any trailing on this side that faces the sofa because it would just die. It wouldn't have enough light and nobody would see it anyway. And to get something out of the package, you just kind of gently massage it a little bit to loosen it up. You don't want to yank and tear apart the roots and separate the roots. And you kind of let gravity help you. You just kind of turn it upside down, make sure it's loose. There you go. And then you're going to just gently Massage just a little bit to rough up a little bit of the roots so that they start regrowing into the new soil. So I think I'm gonna try putting this here. I'm gonna put a little bit more dirt in there because I want it to be a little bit higher so it starts cascading a little bit sooner. I think that's really pretty. So again, I'm gonna go in and gently push around on the container, let gravity help me, turn it upside down, and it fell right out. And then I'm just going to gently, again, massage the edges just ever so gently, a little bit on the bottom. And I'm going to put it right here. I think that'll be really pretty to have it cascading green here and here. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, so this one already is starting to trail. I'm going to work with it. This will be going towards the outside of the box. It's pretty obvious the way it wants to grow. I'm going to go in 
and just grab some of the soil and tuck them in. Basically, I'm just protecting each one and putting enough of the soil around each one to stand them up and hold them securely in place. It's a good reason to be outside. And it's just really fun. It's a good way to express yourself. I could spend from nine to five The crocodile tears falling from my eyes Pieces of a puzzle that just don't fit I could give up and say to heck with it Okay, so in general, I have it situated the way I want it to look. And as it grows out, I'll kind of live and learn. And these guys are thirsty. I can just tell we really need some water fast. So they're all in place. I have a little bit of an assortment of flowers all around, the plant in the middle. And then I have beautiful trailing plants here, here, that should go down that way. Actually, I'm gonna pull it a little bit forward so it really is encouraged to grow in the center. And then one back here. So I'm gonna go in and water them. I'm gonna give them a little bit of water, kind of right down at the root. I had to go clean out my watering pail. We have these really annoying gnats, especially close to the water, they're very prevalent. And they're supposed to live two days, they said, and now it's two to 11 days. And these suckers evidently went to jazzercise and are gonna live a long time. So I think we're probably on day, I don't know, six or seven. So I, but they are dying. They're kind of everywhere, but they're kind of dead. Hi buddy, you want a water? Hey, Paris. Let me see it. You like our flowers? Okay, that should do. It gives them some comfort after being transplanted. I'm gonna watch this center guy. He tends to want to fall a little bit, so I'm gonna make sure that as he soaks in the water, it doesn't start to tip a little bit, but so far, so good. It looks really great. I'm just gonna go in and push the dirt gently around him, up just slightly, just to hold him in place. But I think all in all, it's a pretty arrangement. A little bit worried these two are squished, but we'll kind of see how that goes. All right.
this is a pretty arrangement that will coordinate with the two boxes we did below. Ferris just posed for you. Hi, buddy. So later I will come back. We did get this done. I need to take a moving sticker off of that pot still. <laughs> I still have these flowers to plant here and back there. But at least I'm getting going and we have a start. We're getting some blue, some pinks, just beautiful colors. It's actually a really nice day to be out and doing this. It has a nice breeze and um, I'm kind of easing into these temps nicely. So I'll be back later to finish this. So that's what I've been up to. I'm enjoying spring cleaning, being outside again, making our outdoor patio a beautiful place to be. We absolutely love being outside. We're so looking forward to grilling out and being outside more often. This will be our first summer in our new house and the doggies and us love being outside, so we're super excited. I hope this inspired you to also make your space beautiful, no matter what size. Even when I had an apartment in Los Angeles, I still would pot flowers and make it beautiful all around me, so there's always an opportunity to get some garden gloves on and plant some dirt and plant some flowers. Happy spring, everyone. See you soon.